Hello, my name is Noemi Pico and I'm a lecturer in the mathematics department. Hello, my name is Jibin Pavatil. I'm an associate professor in mathematics department. We are going to tell you about two new modules that we have recently introduced, MA181 Introduction to Modeling and Simulations and MA182 Introduction to Biomathematics. Mathematical models are invaluable tools for studying the real world problems. They are widely used when we need to understand the present through observations or predict the future. We are going to look at how models are constructed, how they can be used. Most examples will be from life sciences and medicine. Once a model is built, we can explore its behavior by using pen and paper calculations using so-called analytical techniques. We can also use so-called numerical techniques to simulate the model. The two new modules will cover both analytical and computational approaches. The first module, Introduction to Modeling and Simulation, will provide an introduction to mathematical modeling and computer programming using real-world examples such as a population growing under different conditions we will talk about model design from mathematical thinking to equations and from algorithmic thinking to implementation into a computer program. We will cover basic analytical techniques and computational approaches to solve simple models. For example, we can use a graphical tool named Cobwebbing to describe how a population evolves in discrete steps in time. In this case, the model consists of a so-called difference equation, which tells us how the current state influences the state after the next time step. By applying this repeatedly, we can find out whether the population settles to a steady state over time. We will learn about a programming language, MATLAB, and use it for the computational implementation of our models. MATLAB is widely used in academy and industry. The second module is called Introduction to Biomathematics. It will delve into more complex problems, such as interacting species that generate nonlinear dynamics. These dynamics often reflect many real-world scenarios. We will look into applications into infectious disease modeling as well as cancer modeling. Here, we will use knowledge and skills that we learn in the first module to develop, analyze, and implement models. We will highlight the predictive aspects of modeling in real life scenarios where models are crucial in directing intervention strategies such as anti-cancer therapy or public health policies designed to control an infectious disease outbreak such as COVID-19. For example, there are models such as SIR models that describe how an infectious disease spreads through the population as a result of interactions between healthy and infected individuals. These models typically consist of differential equations that describe how different interacting groups within the population evolve continuously in time. They can be used to explore various ways to address an outbreak. The knowledge and skills gained during these two modules early in your studies can be applied throughout the rest of your degree, including your final year project and in your future career. We, we are looking, looking forward, forward to, to see you in, in these modules. modules.